this is going to be one of my first homebrew videos. I don't have any live coverage of a, of a brew day, but I should hopefully hopefully have something for you uh, coming up in the next month or two. I just got a big order of supplies for a couple of awesome beers I'm looking forward to. So, But what I did want to do is obviously I have my homebrew equipment and my supplies, my keyser. I've got two beers on tap uh, that I figured I would just do a quick, you know, not necessarily review because obviously I'm a little bit biased, but do a little bit of a, you know, you know, description, what, what it's all about, what, uh, what I did with the beer itself. So I'm going to take and tap off my first one here. I'm only doing uh, tasters right now only because I'm going to be doing uh, several reviews and uh, it might get a little interesting later. So first off, this one is actually a white stout. So uh, we're doing a homebrew competition here soon, and I won the last one. That's why I have the tap handle, and I decided to do a stout porter competition. But I decided, you know what? I want to fuck around with it a little bit, do something a little bit different, play around. So I went with this. So I did a heavy, I'll have to pull up my grain bill. I don't have my sheet with me, but obviously light, light, um, you know, two row might have done some crystal like might have done crystal 60 um but i also did a, um, eight ounces of lactose and about a pound or two of flaked oats to kind of help give it that body and that thickness that i do like to have in a lot of porters and stouts but then what i did to kind of help trick it i dosed it with um late late boil additions of vanilla um i did some cocoa nibs that i had sitting in vodka for about two weeks before I added it in into secondary and let that sit for probably about two, three weeks. Um, and then when I kegged it, I essentially cold brewed, you know, keg, keg hopped, if you will, uh, coffee in two different stages. I did it very early on, did about four ounces of, of whole bean hops, whole bean hops, whole bean coffee uh, for about 24 hours. And then a week or two later, I wanted to make sure I really had that coffee. So I did about three ounces, uh, but I let that set for probably closer to 48 hours. So, I mean, this is, you know, super coffee forward, but it definitely has that nice body, a little bit of, you know, um, oh, and I also did secondary a little bit of vanilla on it as well but yeah i mean it's it's coffee coffee forward but nice and thick a lot of body to it and uh, i'm pretty proud of this one i i'm enjoying this one quite a bit so yeah definitely tricks you because that coffee is just it's uh, and i got really nice medium dark roast coffee from a couple of local coffee roasters here in the area and um, i told them what i was doing with it so i actually told them i would bring them a little bit as well so i uh, i need to take some for them as well and secondly what i've really been digging i'm a um i'm a fan of the new england ipa but obviously we can't get that here in West Virginia. So if you can't get it, fuck it, I'm gonna make it. So this is actually the second time I've done it. The first one came out really, really well. This one is actually for a competition that I'm doing um, in a week uh, with Big Timber Brewing out of Elkins. And the winner gets to actually have their beer commercially brewed. So fingers crossed, we got a few that are in the homebrew club that are submitting for it. Oh, yours is going to kick ass. Well, yeah, I got a buddy of mine behind the camera, and this is his we're going to try as well. This was Warrior and Zythos. Yep, Zythos Warrior IPA. Nice. Mine is very simple grain bill, six pounds, and a, six pounds of two row. I think um, three, yeah, three, six pounds of two row, three pounds of white wheat, two pounds of flaked oats, and one pound of crystal 20. And that's it. Um, but then I hopped it. I did for a one ounce first ward edition of um, what was it? Horizon. And then that was it. I that I did all whirlpool and dry hopped of equal parts um, autonom and Falconer's Flight. And I mean, and I also um, I had it. On, I um, used. Uh, y East London Ale 3, and it is a 
turbid, turbid, hazy, delicious beer. I'm very, very proud of this one. It's actually not as juicy as the last one that I did, um, but nonetheless, it's definitely like hops right up in your face. I think this one's about seven, two, maybe. So yeah, fantastic aroma. Really, really happy with this one. My next, one of the next beers that I'm doing that I got all my supplies for, I'm gonna do another New England IPA. Um, even simpler on the grain bill, not doing any crystal. It's gonna be all two row um, wheat and flaked oats and that's it. So it's gonna be yellow. Um, but I, th whereas this one had total of, I think nine ounces of hops total within from first wort to dry hops. This next one is going to have about 13 ounces. Um, and that one's gonna be all citra and mosaic. So I'm, that one's gonna kick some ass. And that's, I'm actually gonna make that one, ramping it up as a double IPA. So I'm um, pretty happy with this one as well. Yeah. Yeah, big juicy nose, note, nose on this. It's got a nice little bitterness, but I liked how I did the first ward edition, and that that um, Horizon is a nice uh, offers a smooth bitterness to it as well. So, um, yeah, very happy with how this one. Be very curious. I'm definitely going to be recording and doing some video next week at the uh, homebrew competition. Um, you know, I'll definitely uh, post that here later on. So yeah, my first homebrew Wednesday video. Um, you know, I'll definitely have these up on occasion when I do brew. Um, probably do some more brew day videos as well, and uh, bring you along. Cheers, folks. We'll talk to you soon. See you in the next review.